Welcome to the empirical rule and an example to go with that. So just a quick refresher on the empirical rule. It's sometimes talked about as the 68, 95, 99.7% rule, and that's because of the way uh, the percentages are calculated. Now, the purpose of this, um, I want to delete this. How do I make this happen? Um, the purpose of this whole piece is uh, to use the normal distribution to estimate probability, right? So thinking through the normal distribution, huh, I love it when the normal curve comes out nicely. So thinking about the normal distribution, knowing that the area under the curve altogether is 100% of the data that we're talking about. Now, with that being said, if we go right down the middle, we have the mean, right? The empirical rule then says within one standard deviation of the mean, so add a standard deviation, subtract a standard deviation, all from the mean, 68%, right? That was our first percentage. So if we divide 68 by 2, we get 34% in each spot because together this block is 68%. Now thinking through two standard deviations away, so we subtract two standard deviations going to the left, we add two standard deviations going to the right. Now the red block, that whole piece is 95%. And if the middle is already 68, we have left over 27%, divide that by 2, and that's how we get the 13.5. If we go one more step out, oops, I wanted to change that to blue, pardon me. Now we have 99.7%, but we've already talked about 95, so we have a 4.7. So that's how we get 2.35% in our blue. And then thinking through the tails. The tails are these, these end pieces that contain the 0.3% left over. Very, very, very unlikely to end up in those tails, 0.3%. That's very small. So this is 0.15% because, again, we are talking symmetrical, right? The normal curve is perfectly symmetrical. Now, if that was too fast of a review, go back and watch it where I really dig into all of these percents. But I wanted to just refresh, right? We're using the normal curve to estimate probability using percentages. And so the empirical rule is nice because these percents are consistent with every problem you use the empirical rule for. The problem is, what if you're not exactly on one of these lines? If you're somewhere in the middle, the empirical rule doesn't work. So it's only good at kind of an, an overall high-ranking example. So let's look at one of these. The average battery life in a remote control is 18 months with a standard deviation of two months. Using the empirical rule, what percentage of remote control batteries would we expect to last shorter than 14 months? So I don't know about you, but I am very much a visual learner. If I can see it, it makes it so much easier to understand, comprehend, and play with. So we have ourselves a normal curve, kind of a crappy one, but it's a curve nonetheless. Our mean, right? The average battery life, mean goes in the middle, is 18 standard deviation of two so if i go one standard deviation on both sides to the left i subtract so 16 minus 2 is 8. no 16 18 minus 2 is 16. Whew. don't listen to me i don't know what i'm talking about obviously if i go to the right of the mean i'm adding to 18 plus 2 is 20. great let's just finish this out if i go two standard deviations away 16 minus 2 is 14. That's better. 20 plus 2 is 22. Great. Let's go one more because the uh, empirical rule is three standard deviations, right? 68, 95, 99.7. So 14 minus 2 is 12. 22 plus 2 is 24. Okay. So now the question is percentage of batteries less shorter than 14. So if we think about shorter than 14 is all of this. All right, now, if you've got the percentages in your head, that's great. They're better if they're on paper. So we know that these are 34, 13.5, 2.35, and the tail is 0.15. Okay, so then if you say, okay, I want shorter than 14, which is highlighted here in blue, it makes it a little easier. You just have to add all of the percentage that are part of that piece. So 2.35 
plus 0.15 is 2.5%. So 2.5% of remote control batteries will last shorter than or less than 14 months. I don't know how long. Could be two months, could be 13, but shorter than 14 months. And that's how we can use the empirical rule to do an example. Thanks, guys.